Chapter Twenty. And there happened to be there a man of Belial, whose name was Sheba, the son of Bichri, a Benaimite, and he blew a trumpet and said, We have no part in God, neither have we inheritance in the son of Ias, Uri man to his tents, O Israel. So Uri man of Israel went VP from after God and followed Sheba the son of Bichri, but the men of Judah clove unto their king, from Ardain you unto Jerusalem. And Dod came to his house at Jerusalem. And the king took the ten women his concubines, whom he had left to keep the house, and put them in ward, and fed them, but went not in Vinto them. So they were shut feep even till the day of their death, looing in widowhood. Then said the king to Amasa, Assemble me the men of Judah within three days, and be thou here present. So Amasa went to assemble the men of Judah, but he tarried longer than the set time which he had appointed him. And Dawid said to Abishai, Now shall Sheba the son of Bichri do versus more harm than did Absalom, take thou thy lord Saruance, and pursue after him, lest he get him fenced cities, and escape versus. And there went out after him Ayub's men, and the Cherethites, and the Pelethites and all the mighty men, and they went out of Jerusalem to pursue after Sheba the son of Bichri. When they were at the great stone which is in Gibeon, Amasa went before them, and Ayab's garment that he had put on was girded vento him, and fawned a girdle with a sword fast fawned his loins in the sheath thereof, and as he went forth, it fell out. And Ayab said to Amasa, Art thou in health, my brother? And Iob took Amasa by the beard with the right hand to kiss him. But Amasa took no heed to the sword that was in Iob's hand, so he smote him there within the fifth rib, and shed out his bowels to the ground, and strake him not again. And he died, so Iob and Abishai his brother pursued after Sheba the son of Bichri. And one of Iob's men stood by him, and said, He that for Ethiop, and he that is for Dod, let him go after Iob. And Amasa wallowed in blood in the midst of the highway, and when the man saw that all the people stood still, he remote Amasa out of the highway into the field, and cast a cloth upon him, when he saw that Uri, one that came by him, stood still. When he was remount out of the highway, all the people went on after Iob to pursue after Sheba the son of Bichri. And he went thorough all the tribes of Israel and to Abel, and to Beth Micah, and all the Barrets, and they were gathered together, and went also after him. And they came and besieged him in Abel of Beth Micah. And they cast Phoebe a bank against the city, and it stood in the trench, and all the people that were with Iob battered the wall to throw it down. Then cried a wise woman out of the city here, here say, I pray you, Vendoiob, come near hither, that I may speak with thee. And when he was come near Vento her, the woman said, Art thou Yob? And he answered, I am he. Then she said, Vento him, hear the words of thine handmaid. And he answered, I do hear. Then she spake, saying, They were wont to speak in old time, saying, they shall surely ask counsel at Abel, and so they ended the matter. I am one of them that are peaceable and faithful in Israel. Thou seekest to destroy a city, and a mother in Israel. Why wilt thou swallow, VP, the inheritance of the Lord? And Iob answered and said, Far be it, far be it from me, that I should swallow, VP, or destroy. The matter is not so, but a man of Mount Ephraim, Sheba the son of Bichri by name, hath lift Vipi his hand against the king. You and against God, delure him onely, and I will depart from the city. And the woman said Vento Yob, Behold, his head shall be thrown to the o'er the wall. Then the woman went Vento all the people in her wisdom, and they cut off the head of Sheba the son of Bichri and cast it out to Yob, and he blew a trumpet, and they retired from the city. Yuri man to his tent, and Iob returned to Jerusalem Vento the king. Now Iob was o'er all the host of Israel, and Benaiah the son of Ahoiada was o'er the Cherethites, and o'er the Pelethites, and Adoram was o'er the tribute. 
and Ahashaphat the son of Ahilad was recorder, and Shua was scribe, and Zadok, and Abiathar were the priests, and Ira also the Ayarit, was a chief ruler about Dod. Chapter 21 then there was a famine in the days of Dod three years, year after year, and Dod inquired of the Lord. And the Lord answered, It is for Saul and for his bloody house, because he slew the Shibonites. And the king called the Shibonites, and said then told them, Now the Shibonites were not of the children of Israel, but of the remnant of the Amorites, and the children of Israel had sworn then told them, and Saul sought to slay them, in his zeal to the children of Israel and Judah. Wherefore Dawid said then to the Shibonites, What shall I do for you? And wherewith shall I make the atonement, that ye may bless the inheritance of the Lord? And the Shibonites said then to him, We will how no silver nor gold of Saul, nor of his house. Neither for verses shalt thou kill any man in Israel. And he said, What you shall say, that will I do for you? And they answered the king, The man that consumed verses, and that doosed against verses, that we should be destroyed from remaining in any of the coasts of Israel. Let Suin men of his sons be delured vento verses, and we will hang them vp vento the Lord in Gibeah of Saul, whom the Lord did choose. And the king said, I will do them. But the king spared Methbosheth the son of Anathan the son of Saul, because of the Lord's oath that was between them, between Daud and Anathan the son of Saul. But the king took the two sons of Ritzbah, the daughter of Aya, whom she bare then to Saul, Armoni, and Methbosheth, and the five sons of Mitchell, the daughter of Saul, whom she brought VP for Adriel, his son of Barzillai the Mahalathite. And he delured them into the hands of the Shibonites, and they hanged them in the hill before the Lord, and they fell all suing together, and were put to death in the days of Heroist, in the first days, in the beginning of barley Heroist. And Ritzpah the daughter of Aya took sackcloth, and spread it for her upon the rock, from the beginning of Heroist, until water dropped upon them out of Hoan, and suffered neither the birds of the air to rest on them by day nor the beasts of the field by night. And it was told Dawid what Ritzbath the daughter of Aya the concubine of Saul had done. And Dod went and took the bones of Saul and the bones of Ianathan his son from the men of Ayabesh Galid, which had stolen them from the street of Bethshin, where the Philistines had hanged them, when the Philistines had slain Saul in Gulboa. And he brought VP from thence the bones of Saul, and the bones of Ianeth in his son. And they gathered the bones of them that were hanged. And the bones of Saul and Ianeth in his son buried they in the country of Beniam in Inzela, in the sepulchre of Kish's father, and they performed all that the king commanded, and after that, God was entreated for the land. Moreover, the Philistines had yet war again with Israel. And Dod went down, and his servants with him, and fought against the Philistines, and Dod waxed faint. And Ishbi Benab, which was of the sons of the giant, the weight of whose spear weighed three hundred shekels of brass in weight, he being girded with a new sword, thought to how slain Dod. But Abishai the son of Zeria succored him, and smote the Philistine, and killed him. Then the men of Dod swear unto him, saying, Thou shalt go no more out with verses to Batel, that thou quench not the light of Israel. And it came to pass a after this, that there was again a Batel with the Philistines at Gob. Then Sibachai the Hushathite slew Saph, which was of the sons of the giant. And there was again a Batel in Gob, with the Philistines, where Elhanan the son of Ayer Origem of Bethlehemet, slew the brother of Goliath the Gittite, the staff of whose spear was like a war's beam. And there was yet a Batel in Gath, where was a man of great stature, that had on Uri hand six fingers, and on Uri foot six toes, four and twenty in number. And he also was born to the giant. And when he defied Israel, Ianathan the son of Shimea the brother of Dod, slew him. These four were born to the giant in Gath, and fell by the hand of Dod, and by the hand of his servants.
Chapter Twenty Two. And doth speak then to the Lord the words of this song in the day that the Lord had delivered him out of the hand of all his enemies and out of the hand of Saul. And he said, The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer. The God of my rock, in him will I trust. He is my shield and the horn of my salutation, my high tower and my refuge. My sawyer, thou sawest me from violence. I will call on the Lord, who is worthy to be praised, so shall I be sawed from mine enemies. When the was of death compassed me, the floods of godly men made me afraid. The sorrows of hell compassed me about, the snares of death pruinted me. In my distress I called upon the Lord, and cried to my God, and he did hear my voice out of his temple, and my cry did enter into his ears. Then the earth shook and trembled, the foundations of Hohen mood and shook, because he was wroth. There went vipia smoke out of his nostrils, and fire out of his mouth dured, coals were kindled by it. He bowed the Hoens also and came down, and darkness was under his feet. And he rode upon a cherub, and did fly, and he was seen upon the wings of the wind. And he made darkness pullions round about him, dark waters, and thick clouds of the skies. Through the brightness before him were coals of fire kindled. The Lord thundered from Hoin, and the Most High fdered his voice. And he sent out arrows, and scattered them lightning, and discomfited them. And the channels of the sea appeared, the foundations of the world were discarded at the rebuking of the Lord, at the blast of the breath of his nostrils. He sent from Abu, he took me, he drew me out of many waters. He delured me from my strong enemy, and from them that hated me, for they were too strong for me. They pruned me in the day of my calamity, but the Lord was my stay. He brought me forth also into a large place. He delured me, because he delighted in me. The Lord rewarded me according to my righteousness, according to the cleanness of my hands, hath he recompensed me. For I how kept the ways of the Lord, and how not wickedly departed from my God. For all his judgments were before me, and as for his statutes, I did not depart from them. I was also right before him, and how kept myself from mine iniquity. Therefore the Lord hath recompensed me according to my righteousness, according to my cleanness in his eyesight. With the merciful thou wilt shew thyself merciful, and with the right man thou wilt shew thyself right. With the pure thou wilt shew thyself pure, and with the froward thou wilt shew thyself sorry. And the afflicted people thou wilt saw, but thine eyes are upon the haughty, that thou mayest bring them down. For thou art my lamp, O Lord, and the Lord will lighten my darkness. For by thee I how run through a troop, by my God how I leaped o'er a wall. As for God, his way is perfect, the word of the Lord is tried, he is a buckler to all them that trust in him. For who is God, saw the Lord. And who is a rock, saw our God. God is my strength and power, and he maketh my way perfect. He maketh my feet like his feet, and setteth me upon my high places. He teacheth my hands to war, so that a bow of steel is broken by mine arms. Thou hast also drewn me the shield of thy salutation, and thy gentleness hath made me great. Thou hast enlarged my steps near me, so that my feet did not slip. I have pursued mine enemies, and destroyed them, and turned not again till I had consumed them. And I have consumed them, and wounded them, that they could not arise, yea, they are fallen from my feet. For thou hast girded me with strength to battle them that rose VP against me, hast thou subdued for me. Thou hast also drewn me the necks of mine enemies, that I might destroy them that hate me. They looked, but there was none to saw who invent to the Lord, but he answered them not.
Then did I beat them as small as the dust of the earth, I did stamp them as the mire of the street, and did spread them abroad. Thou also hast delured me from the stryings of my people. Thou hast kept me to be head of the heathen, a people which I knew not shall sorrow me. Strangers shall submit themselves vento me, as soon as they hear, they shall be obedient vento me. Strangers shall fade away, and they shall be afraid out of their close places. The Lord bleweth, and blessed be my rock, and exalted be the God of the rock of my salutation. It is God that ongeth me, and that bringeth down the people vendor me, and that bringeth me forth from mine enemies. Thou also hast lifted me VP on high above, and that rose VP against me. Thou hast delured me from the violent man. Therefore I will do thanks vento thee, O Lord, among the heathen, and I will sing praises vento thy name. He is the tour of salutation for his king, and showeth mercy to his anointed vento doubt, and to his seed for your more.